West Ham have had a mixed season, reaching the final of the Europa Conference League, but only just fighting off relegation from the Premier League. And in this alternate FIFA 23 universe, that isn't enough for the fans as David Moyes is given his marching orders. With over 600 appearances, Frank Lampard is a Chelsea legend, but it's easy to forget that he once came through the ranks at West Ham United, and today he is back to resurrect his boyhood club, resurrect his own managerial career, and maybe win a trophy along the way. Now, to be fair to West Ham, their starting 11 is actually actually not too bad. Every single player in the starting 11 is rated at least in the high 70s. And whilst the bench isn't exactly the strongest I will have ever seen in the Premier League, with the likes of Jared Bowen, Paqueta and also Declan Rice, the club has got a pretty decent foundation to build on. However, there can be no doubt that Frank Lampard's first task in the job must be to try and convince our star man Declan Rice to stay at the club for the foreseeable future. And so after meeting with Declan and his agent almost immediately, he manages to convince him to thrash out a deal for a another three-year contract extension with a nice little salary bump to keep him at the club for the foreseeable future and put himself straight into the good books with the West Ham faithful. Mikel Antonio is West Ham United's highest ever goal scorer and an absolute legend in the eyes of the fans. But at 32 years of age with only two years left on his contract and his stats in decline, a big decision has to be made about his future at the club. And with Monza of all teams coming in with a whopping £11.5 million offer for him, it's with a heavy heart that we say goodbye to Mikel Antonio. Now with him gone, Danny Ings is definitely not someone that I plan to sell. But after managing to negotiate a deal with Frankfurt for £18.2 million, it became very difficult to say no to that deal and he's another player who will depart this summer. And he's followed out the door by the former Burnley man Maxence Cornet as he departs to Celta Vigo for £11.4 million. Pablo Fornells is another departee as he leaves the club for Atalanta for £11.2 million. And he's followed out the door by backup left-back Aaron Creswell as he departs for Napoli for 6.5. And whilst all of those departures leave us with a whopping £114 million to spend in the transfer window, it also leaves us with some gaping holes in our squad, especially on the bench. And we've got a lot of work to do if we want to try and improve this team. And we're going to be starting at left back with 21 caps to his country and at 24 years of age, he's got bags of potential and pace to grow and develop. This man, Bjorn Souza, joins the club for £23.4 million from Stuttgart. With the departure of Mikel Antonio and Danny Ings, it means that this man, Gianluca Scamacca, is going to have to take centre stage this season and really show us that he does, in fact, have that something special. However, we are going to need someone to play back up to him this season, and 23-year-old Vangelis Pavlidis has been the chosen one to fulfil that role, and at £21.2 million, he joins the club from AZ Alkmaar. At 78 rated, 29 years of age, and with only 12 months left on his contract, Vladimir Kufal is someone I have transfer listed but have yet been able to shift. However, with us being able to agree a deal with Wolfsburg to swap him for Riddle Baku, we say goodbye to Kufal and hello to one of the most exciting, electrifying, up-and-coming right wing-backs in a deal for £16.4 million. Next up, with Fornals leaving the club, we need some competition on the left-hand side of midfield for Ben Rama. And with that in mind, we've flown over to Scotland, more specifically to Celtic, to try and poach their young and up-and-coming Portuguese winger Jota. He's got bags of pace, can play on the left and right hand side of midfield and with a fee of just £18.2 million we've stole a bargain. Now with just £26 million left to spend this summer there is one more position that I would like to upgrade before the start of the season. With only 12 months left on his contract and at 34 years of age, Angelo Agbona rated 76 is only going to decrease in his performance level and with him being transfer listed I think it's time we try and look for a replacement. Step forward 23 year old Austrian Kevin Danzo who joins from RC Lentz for £22.2 million. With incredible strength, power and pace, he's absolutely everything you want in a centre-back and the perfect way to round off all of our final signings this summer. The team is looking far stronger than it was at the start of the transfer window. We've managed to keep hold of our star man in Declan Rice and managed to improve the bench with some good quality high potential signings. We're sticking with the 4-2-3-1 formation. Declan Rice remains as our captain heading into the new season and with the board insisting the team finish mid-table in the Premier League, reach the semi-final of the FA Cup and win the Europa Conference League, it's time for Frank Lampard to show the West Ham faithful what he can do. But as we fast forward our way to the midway point of the season, things are actually going fantastically. Not only have we gone sailing through to the knockout rounds of the Europa Conference League, topping our group with 13 points, but we find ourselves in the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup against our arch-rival Spurs, and with the board wanting us to secure a mid-table finish in the Premier League, we are absolutely smashing that objective out of the park, as we are not only in the top four, but we are in second place in the league, 21 games played, 45 
five points on the board as we trail Spurs in top spot who are seven points clear in what can only be described as an outrageously strange season. Lucas Paqueta has been sensational just in the hole behind the striker, 17 goals and six assists in 30 appearances. And the man who I brought in to be a reserve striker up front, Vangelis Pavlidis, has come in and secured 14 goals, one assists, nine of those goals coming in the Premier League in a fantastic debut season for him. And to make things even stranger, our other new signing, Riddle Baku, was chipped in with seven goals and six assists in 30 games at right back. In transfer news, Angelo Agbonner eventually did manage to depart as he leaves for Frankfurt for just over £2 million. But with only £13 million in the transfer budget, there isn't really much room to improve the squad, so Lampard has just got to hope that we can continue this great form into the second half of the season. But unfortunately, in spite of beating Spurs 5-2 on aggregate in the Carabao Cup semi-final, we succumb to a 4-3 loss on penalties to Manchester United. And with our top four charge slightly coming off the rails in the second half of the season, we succumb to a sixth place finish in the Premier League with 71 points to our name, and we secure Europa League football for next season. And after hitting the board objective of reaching the semi-final of the FA Cup, being strangely knocked out by the eventual winners Middlesbrough, who beat Manchester City on penalties 5-4 in the final, there's even more positive news as we come through all all of the knockout rounds in the Europa Conference League to beat Villarreal in the final 1-0 to secure Frank Lampard's first trophy of his managerial career. New signing Pavlidis has had an outrageous season with 38 goals in 57 appearances in a stunning debut season at the club. Lucas Paqueta has also had a stellar season, 25 goals and 11 assists to his name, with Jared Bowen with 62 appearances, 20 goals, 12 assists, what an outrageous season from those three individuals. And with Riddle Baku getting nine goals and eight assists in 59 appearances for him, it just goes to show how good our recruitment policy has been so far in season one. However, with Skamaka submitting a transfer request, having lost his starting position up front, and with further question marks over the future of our star man Declan Rice, there's still plenty of work to do heading into season two. Overall, I'd say it's been a pretty solid season for Frank Lampard in his first season as manager at the club. But the biggest question is heading into season two, can he keep up the good work? But with some form of success comes even higher board objectives as they're expecting us to finish in the Europa League, spot in the Premier League, win the FA Cup and also win the Europa League as well. And with only £75 million to spend, Frank Lampard's got a big task on his hands this season. Now whilst finishing in sixth place in the league last season is a very positive step, conceding 55 goals along the way is a slight cause for concern. Now with Lucas Fabianski rated 74 and departing when the transfer window opens to Celtic, and Alphonse Ariola only rated 81 with no signs of progressing, it is at goalkeeper where we're going to start. And after agreeing a deal to bring in Wolfsburg's number one goalkeeper, Goen Castiles, for a fee of £20.2 million, not only do we have a towering 6 foot 6, 85 rated goalkeeper between the sticks, but also someone who is now firmly established as our number one goalkeeper. In spite of assigning Kevin Danzo for a big fee last summer, at 81 rated, he hasn't actually made the improvements that I was really hoping for. And with an 83 rated Nea Gerd being our highest rated centre back, it's in defence that is going to be our next target this summer. And we are going in big. A £40 million offer accepted right off the bat for the 84-rated Italian giant Gianluca Mancini as he joins all the way from Roma. With Thomas Socek and our star man Declan Rice being the only two central midfielders at the club, it is in central midfield that we will be looking to strengthen. And with Frank Lampard's first target of Yuri Tielemans proving too expensive, he flew over to Italy instead, more specifically Atalanta, to negotiate a deal for Dutch midfielder Tian Koopminers for £38.4 million pound. Now with Manuel Lanzini furious about not getting enough game time and departing the club on a free transfer to Transonspor, and with only 11 million pound left in the transfer budget, Frank Lampard hasn't exactly got much to work with. So instead he's decided to raid the free transfer market and bring in former Everton, Chelsea and England midfielder Ross Barkley. Not exactly the exhilarating signing that most fans were hoping for, but with only a one year contract signed, it could end up being a decent little bit of business. However, perhaps the biggest surprise so far of this transfer window is that still no one is yet to come in for our star man Declan Rice. At 87 rated and with his stats going through the absolute roof, surely it is only a matter of time before the big team starts sniffing around. In terms of departures, backup left back Emerson is going to be the first man to leave the club this summer. A £14 million deal will take him to Burnley for the next season. And having thrown a temper tantrum at the back end of last season, Gianluca Scamacca 
striker is going to get his wish to leave the club as he departs to Arsenal for a fee of £36.5 million. And Tilo Keller departs for Lyon for £17.5 million. However, with our transfer business now done in the summer and the spine of our starting eleven looking far stronger than it did at the back end of last season, and with £41 million now to play with if we need it in January, it's absolutely imperative that Frank gets the job done and secures European football once again this season. And midway through the season, having managed to just about get ourselves out of our Europa League group, we face Porto in the preliminary round of the knockout stages. As well as that, we find ourselves back in the semi-finals at the Carabao Cup against Nottingham Forest in a game surely we should be winning. And we're back on the hunt for a top four place, fifth in the table, 41 points to our name, and only one point behind a fourth place, Newcastle. However, with that £41 million still left in the budget, and with Emerson departing the club in the summer, it left us with Bjorn Sosa being the only remaining left back at the club. And so with that in mind, Frank is insistent that we make one more signing to try and push us into the final Champions League spot this season. And that signing happens to be a former Manchester City man who goes by the name of Angelino, currently plying his trade with RB Leipzig. He joins the club for a fee of just over £29 million. And so with the team looking better than it ever has before, can we get the job done in the second half of the season? And that final signing proved to be inspired as despite the board only having for some reason a 56 week rated popularity with Frank Lampard, perhaps due to being knocked out 4-3 on aggregate in the round of 16 to Stad René in the Europa League and losing 3-1 to Manchester City in the Carabao Cup final. He has, however, secured FA Cup glory by beating Bournemouth 2-1 in the final. And in even bigger news, secured Champions League football for the first time in West Ham's history as they finish in third place in the Premier League, just three points off eventual winners Manchester City. And with Pavlidis, of course, topping the goal-scoring chance with 33 goals and four assists in 59 appearances, and Jared Bowen very close up behind him with 20 goals and 14 assists in 60 appearances, it's Coop Miners who is the outstanding signing of the season. 15 goals, 3 assists in a fantastic debut season for the club. However, with Kurt Zuma furious about his lack of game time submitting a transfer request and with us accepting an £18.5 million offer for him from Liverpool, it looks like we're going to be on the hunt for another centre-back heading into the new season. However, with Champions League football to look forward to next year, surely there are going to be more players wanting to ply their trade under Frank Lampard. However, with a new season comes a new Champions league size budget as the board have given us £168 million to spend this summer. But they've also followed that up in typical FIFA style with some stupid objectives as well as they want us to finish in the Champions League spot in the Premier League, win the FA Cup and reach the final of the Champions League in our first season in the competition. And if we are going to do that, some big transfers are going to need to be made ahead of the new season. Now, despite Lampard bringing in Jota from Celtic in season one, and in spite of him having that something special, he hasn't quite hit the heights that were expected of him when he first joined the club. As well as that, the still 79 rated 28 year old Ben Rama has not been playing as well as would have been expected of him. Now with Champions League football incoming this season, it's imperative that we bring some players in with Champions League experience. Experience. And where better to look than an American who's got plenty of experience playing at the highest level with Chelsea. A man, however, who currently finds himself on the fringes of the West London club, moves across to East London to join West Ham in a deal for just over £45 million. It is Christian Pulisic to join West Ham United. Now with Kurt Zuma departing the club for Liverpool at the start of the transfer window, it leaves us a gaping hole in the centre of our defence. And as one Frenchman departs, it'll be another experienced one to replace him, as we've travelled over to his current club on FIFA Roma to negotiate a £60 million deal for a ball-playing, towering centre-back who goes by the name of Robin Lenormand. Now with Ross Barkley having left his position at the club at the end of his one-year contract, and with the now 87-rated Lucas Paqueta being a shining light in that camp position behind our striker, I'm reluctant to bring in another big money signing to try and compete with him. So instead, Frank is going to look to raid the free transfer market yet again and bring in a man who he's got experience of playing against, a man who's got more Champions League experience that you can shake a stick at. That is right, it is Bayern Munich and German legend Thomas Muller who joins the club on a one-year deal. Now, in spite of Vangelis Pavlidis scoring an absolute bucket load of goals in the past two seasons, the board is still insistent that we bring in another big money striker to compete with him. And for some reason, with Frank's popularity still only being 50, 58 and weak with the board, it's something that we definitely need to do. And so with him being a World Cup winner with Argentina and having incredible talent and ability, we are going to raid another English team for a player who also finds himself on the fringes of their starting eleven. as Stan
star striker Julian Alvarez joins the club for a swap deal plus £32 million. With backup right back Ben Johnson departing the club on a free transfer to Borussia Mönchengladbach, it means that we've got space to replace him and for one more signing this summer. And so yet again we are going to raid another English club for another player on the fringes of the starting eleven of said club. This time it's to North London, more specifically to Spurs, to raid their right back and their potential superstar in Jed Spence for a deal for £27. £7.6 million. Pound. And with Ben Rama departing the club to Seville for £19.4 million, pound, that rounds off our transfer business this summer. And looking at our team, you can see the impact all of those signings have made. Not only is every single player in the starting 11 rated at least in the mid 80s, but our bench is looking stronger than it ever has before. The board are confident, the fans are confident, Frank Lampard is confident. Can West Ham win the Premier League this season? But as we fast forward to the midway point of the season, things are looking quite incredible. Not only if we managed to get out of our Champions League group in second place and set up a round of 16 tie against Spanish giants Barcelona. But with 20 games played, we are top of the Premier League table, eight points clear of Manchester United. Declan Rice has established himself as one of the world's best, getting his rating up to a massive 90. And Jared Bowen has continued his fine form, chipping in with 16 goals in 29 appearances, as well as Lucas Paqueta getting on the score sheet 12 times with four assists in 28 appearances. However, the arrival of Julian Alvarez in the summer has clearly had an impact on Plavidis as he's only been able to chip in with five goals in 28 appearances. However, the bigger story is that Alvarez has scored no goals whatsoever and only appeared twice in all competitions this season. In spite of this, though, team morale is higher than it has ever been. Our performance level is higher than it's ever been. And Frank Lampard could well be the man to lead West Ham to Premier League glory. But as we head to the end of the season, it's not good news in the Carabao Cup as we're knocked out in the fourth round by Liverpool. It's not good news in the FA Cup as we're knocked out in the fifth round by Manchester City. It's not good news in the Champions League as in spite of beating Barcelona in the round of 16, in spite of getting past Leipzig in the quarterfinals, we are knocked out in the semi-finals 4-3 on aggregate to AC Milan. It is however time to party as we are top of the Premier League. West Ham United are Premier League champions for the first time in their history, beating off Manchester United, Liverpool and Arsenal to secure the Premier League title with 93 points points to their name. With 13 clean sheets, Castiles has been an absolute wall in between the sticks for us and are now 86 rated and with 27 goals in all competitions, Jared Bowen has well and truly established himself as an English superstar. Coop Miners has of course had a sensational season with 21 goals and 14 assists in all competitions and of course my star man Pavlidis has stepped up in the second half of the season getting his rating up to 84 and chipping in with 18 goals and 4 assists in all competitions. Frank Lampard has done the unthinkable by leading his boyhood club to the Premier League title in just his third season in charge but heading into season four can he do the even more unthinkable and win the Champions League as we head into the fourth season of Frank Lampard's tenure at the club you can see that our starting 11 is looking better than it ever has before and looking around at every single position there isn't really any opportunity to try and improve these players however the same can't be said for our bench and that is where we're going to be starting in this transfer window now with Thomas Muller departing the club at the end of his contract leaving the now 88 rated Lucas Paqueta is the only established central attacking midfielder at the club. The board have given Frank Lampard a whopping £248 million to try and find him some competition. And hot off the heels of a title winning season in Serie A with Napoli in real life, Frank Lampard has gone ahead and absolutely smashed the West Ham transfer record to bring in the now 25 year old Macedonian Elgif Elmas. He's 85 rated, six foot tall, and can play in a variety of different positions. He's got all round end to end good stats, and we find finally now have a man who can potentially compete for Lucas Paqueta for that starting central attacking midfielder spot. Speaking of competition, now whilst Jared Bowen has absolutely smashed it so far in this rebuild, establishing himself as one of the best players at the club and one of the leading lights in the England international scene, he is the only player we have at the club who can play on the right hand side of midfield. And so with that in mind, Frank has identified a young player who has already got experience in English football. Someone who was let go at a young age by our arch rival Spurs and had to go overseas to try and make a name for himself. And now having gained Champions League experience and establishing himself as one of the best players in Portugal, Marcus Edwards is ready for a return.
return to the Premier League as Lampard secures a deal for him for £44.2 million. And so now, in spite of still having £118 million left to spend, Frank Lampard is feeling incredibly confident that due to those new signings, our squad is looking better than it ever has before. And perhaps this may well be the season that we can finally reach Champions League glory. And with the expectations of both the fans and the board higher than they ever have been before, with them wanting us to win the Premier League, win the FA Cup, and secure a treble by winning the Champions League, Frank knows the pressure is on heading into the new season. But as we get to the midway point of the season, things aren't looking as rosy as perhaps they were this time last season. We have managed to scrape through our group stage, finishing second to Borussia Dortmund, which means we've set up a very winnable round of 16 tie against Sporting Lisbon. And we, of course, find ourselves in our customary semi-final position in the Carabao Cup, this time against Arsenal. But it's the Premier League in which perhaps we've taken our eyes slightly off the ball. Seven points behind Manchester City with only 20 games played. And we face an uphill battle to try and retain our title. In spite of the arrival of Marcus Edwards, though, Jared Bowen has shown his quality once again. Up to 88 rated now. 17 goals in all competitions. 15 of those coming in 20 Premier League games and five assists as well. He continues to be the shining light in this team. And whilst he's going from strength to strength, Marcus Edwards perhaps is finding life a little bit difficult to adjust to back in the Premier League. Only one appearance so far for the club and it's an appearance that he will definitely want to forget. And our other new signing Elmas also follows the same story. Only seven Premier League appearances so far with a 5.91 rating in those appearances. Clearly our big money signings haven't quite hit the mark so far. And perhaps Frank Lampard is starting to get a clearer picture as to why we aren't quite performing in the Premier League so far this season. However, with captain and one of the world's best Declan Rice calling a team meeting midway through the season to try and rally the troops, perhaps we'll see some better performances out of our star men heading into the second half of the season. And it seems to have worked as we've got past Arsenal in the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup, beating them 5-2 on aggregate to secure our first trophy of the season. It's another win of the Carabao Cup, this time against Leicester City. But after losing the FA Cup final 2-0 to Sheffield United, being knocked out of the Champions League 5-4 on aggregate by French Giants PSG, and only being able to secure second place in the Premier League table, being 14 points off of Manchester City, the board have decided that enough is enough and Frank Lampard has been sacked as manager of West Ham United. Despite securing the Carabao Cup this season and winning the Premier League title for the first time in West Ham's history last season and securing Champions League football for the first time in their history, he unfortunately has become a victim of his own success. The fans have turned their back on him, the board have turned their back on him and Frank Lampard ends a historic reign as West Ham United manager with the sack. Thanks everyone for watching today, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time.